Hey guys, Net Game Radio's uh, Steve-O here, and we've got a very special guest on the line. His name is Aaron, and he's from Real Big Fish. Aaron, how are you, mate? I'm wonderful. I slept all day. You slept all day? Join the club, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, are you excited to come down to Sydney, man, for the uh, Soundwave Festival? I am excited. It's going to be awesome. You've been to Sydney before, I know that. How was it? It was really fun. Some of the best shows. Sydney. Really? Biggest shows, too. Yeah. Well, that's that's very good. Makes my heart feel fuzzy and warm. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not just saying that; it's really true. Yeah, the crowds, the crowds here are awesome. Amazing crowds. Yeah, we we <laughs> love our we love our action in the pit. Anyway, um, for Soundwave, are you guys maybe doing a side show? You know, I, we've been going back and forth with our manager and the booking agent and stuff, and trying to get something going because people do that, right? It's not unheard of. Yeah, yeah um, I mean, Faith No More are doing one, so. And I don't know, you get two different stories. It's like, yeah, of course we're playing side shows, because we have all those days off. And then the other half goes, oh, no way, in the contracts, like, it says, like, you can't play this close to that thing. And you know, we're working on it. We definitely want to play, because we love to play. I've, I've noticed a lot of people that I know would love to see you guys at a side show. So try and get that going. That'd be awesome. We are trying our best. Awesome. Now, I just want to talk to you about a few song titles of yours. Um, with You're the main songwriter, am I right? Yeah. Um, with, you want to be technical. Yeah, well, in a technical sense, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> with some of your song titles, obviously some of them are a bit weird. I mean, do you just think of them on the spot, or are they from your like your life? Well, it depends on which song title. You have one specific one? Uh, okay, here's one. Um, I want your girlfriend to be <laughs> my girlfriend, too. Well, that's life. You know, sometimes a guy has a girlfriend that you're in love with, and then you drive past her house late at night, and... What? Oh, I just made that up. It's a funny song. <laughs> uh, I was I was getting a bit worried there. I shouldn't have asked that. <laughs> anyway, um, with Sydney, when you came down here, I think it was a few years ago, was it? Uh, yeah, it has to be at least two years now. And we came with Les and Jake and Streetlight Manifesto, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, with that the uh, with the crowd, I mean, show. I mean, your best that crowd. Was, that was the best show on the whole tour. Really? Dude. So best awesome. crowd? What's best oh, crowd? Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Well, I've been reading on your Wikipedia, right? I don't know if half of it's probably not true because, you know, everyone just puts whatever they want. I think Wikipedia, Wikipedia is like 80, 90% true, usually. Usually? Oh, okay, I'll ask this then. Is it true that you auditioned for Limp Biscuit? No. No. That's not true. See, that would have <laughs> been a good story. That would have been funny. But <laughs> I don't know where that came from. That's weird. Um, apparently, it was from the audio commentary of your live album, your DVD. Oh, uh, maybe somebody made a joke about it. Matt did, apparently. Yeah, Whatever. I don't know. I've, I've gone in before. I've given up now. But in the past, I've, you know, got the little uh, Wikipedia uh, membership thing or whatever you do. You sign up. And I tried to fix the facts and, like, take out the stuff that wasn't true and, like, make it true. And someone changed it back to untrue. Like, <laughs> but... Uh, I was there. You can't I knew win. It was real. You can't win on Wikipedia. Can't Everyone win. just writes whatever they no. want. Like if anybody knows the truth, it's me. But I can't change the Wikipedia page to be true. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will ask that in the near future if they decide to <laughs> study Wikipedia. But there you go. Since we're a gaming station, uh, we're actually Net Game Radio. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I was just like to ask. Maybe you play any video games or? I personally do not. Unfortunately, but uh, most no of my band hero? plays Warcraft. My band plays World of Warcraft. Oh no! Non-stop all day long. Oh, I try no. to have a conversation with them, and they're like, "What?" Oh, looking into my computer. Oh, just shut and up! I'm gonna level seven. Blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, but it's all good. You get to pass the time. I mean, I thought you'd be a fan. Game on for. I mean, I thought you'd be a fan of Guitar Hero or something. I don't know. Playing Guitar Hero is like not like playing real guitar. Yeah, yeah, good point. Harder. Be way more coordinated. Way more hand-eye coordination involved. That is true. So, <laughs> actually, Must... in rock band, I'm better at the drums. Yeah. I can't play the drums at all in real life. I'm not a drummer at all. Oh, well, I see I am, but I fail at the drums. You can't win. <laughs> anyway. Um, your, with, with, your, with your music, um, what if someone's never heard your music before, um, what would you probably describe it as? I mean, obviously there's a scar element, but... Oh, my God, yeah. We have that problem all the time, you know? You get on a plane somewhere. You guys a band? Yes. What kind of music do you play? Like, uh, ska? 
like, what? <laughs> so we usually end up saying we play reggae, and sometimes they know what reggae is, mm. but that's not right. It's like fast reggae. It's like big band, big band, fast reggae, punk rock. If you know what punk rock is, if you don't know what punk rock is, then you gotta explain what that is, and that's like, I don't know. It just you just say it's music with instrument, uh, with uh, trumpets and trombones. Usually now, when people ask us for a band, we say, "No, we're not a band." What? Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> It it's saves easier. a bit of time. Yeah, it is hard to describe Scott because it's not a household word. With your influences, <laughs> what are your influences? Uh, you know, when we first started, it was all about English beat, uh, special, madness, mighty, mighty boss tones. Uh, we really loved No Doubt and Sublime because they were like the local heroes at the time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, and we listen to all kinds of music. I mean, you, you'd be shocked and horrified if you scrolled through each member of our band's iPod and saw <laughs> the kind of shit we have. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we listen to all kinds of music. So. I mean, on one of your live tracks, <laughs> on one of your, you know, um, oh, what was it Suburban Rhythm? You guys did the live track with all the yeah. different styles. I was surprised to hear Death Metal. Oh, I love death metal. That was see that was I must say that was probably the best cover of Suburban Rhythm. I love, yeah, I love Cannibal Corpse. One of my favorite bands. Who? Call Me Crazy. Cannibal Corpse. I love them too, man. I'm a metal. I'm a metalhead as well. Don't worry about it. You guys should do a death metal cover of a Scar song. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Turn it around. Yeah, change it up a bit, as you say. Flip it. <laughs> Flip it up yeah. and down, and around. What's your best crowd story? I mean, you obviously go to a lot of shows. My best crowd story? Oh, man. There's a million stories. I'm not going to tell the one about the guy who threw his prosthetic leg up on the stage anymore. <laughs> that one's... That one's... Well, you want to hear that one? Oh, my gosh. Oh, what? Man, that, happened, that happened in uh, Melbourne, I believe. Oh, Melbourne. The guy in the, uh, by the stage, he had a prosthetic leg on, and he pulled it off and threw it up on the stage. And then he jumped up on the stage into some uh, glasses that were up there and broken glass and he was bleeding. But he was having a good time. He was smiling, hopping around on one leg. So, I don't know. Weird stuff happens. I would have freaked out if a bloody <laughs> prosthetic leg jumped up on stage. And our bass player, Matt Long, like, grabbed the leg and he, like, he held it in the air. <laughs> so like, like, a, like, a a, like a trophy. Like a trophy. Yeah! I won! <laughs> I don't know. The best part of that story is that it's all true. You can't make something like that up. I'm having trouble hearing you. It cuts out every so often. Hello? Hello? Yeah, no, it's all good. I can hear you. Yeah. It's just every so often it okay. cuts out. I kind of mumble and talk really fast, mm. and I have a funny accent. What's the accent? Is it Canadian or just American? I shouldn't have called you Canadian. That's uh, It's uh, Southern California American. We got lots of different kinds of accents. I have an Australian accent. You can't tell, though. Whenever anybody who's not American like tries to do an American accent, they always do like the Southern Hick voice. <laughs> like, How y'all doing? I'm from America. Or they do like the surfer dude boys, like, hey, dude. <laughs> man, thanks, Aaron. Thank you so much for this. Um, it's no good problem, to hear you. Man. It's good to hear from you. I hope to see you in Sydney when you come down for Soundwave and hopefully you get to see you do a uh, sideshow. Right on. I hope we can get one. All right, man. Take Working it easy, on. eh? All right. Have a good one.